So I was looking at the new Aurora, but then I was thinking, maybe I should get something that looks a little classy. But then I was like, no, I need something that can pull some serious weight. Maybe I don't need all that cargo space. What about the Legionnaire? Now we're talking. How about some bigger guns? Little bigger. No, little bigger. There you go. And maybe some rockets, too. Actually, I should probably upgrade the power plant. I did like the leather seats on that LX, though. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's see what this baby can do. and welcome to a brand new series. I'm Cryogenics and welcome to Ships of the Verse. We'll be delving into the ships of the Star Citizen universe, starting with the first ship, which we're going to see very, very shortly. We'll be running through what they are, looking around them, what they look like in game, and the, the specs, what we can do, and what they're for, and we'll be delving into Lily. Hopefully, will we continue the series? Let me know if you're interested in this series by commenting below what ships you would like to see, what ships you would like me to cover, and I'll give a, my, my personal rating and see if you agree or not. So all that to come as we kick off today's series of Ships in the Verse with myself, Crazy Alex. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And we delve into, right now, we're live in the game. And we start with our first ship today, which is around this corner. Welcome everybody to the Aurora class. That's right, everyone, we're delving into one of the starter ships. We begin with the Aurora. The Aurora comes in many different um, variations. Uh, this particular one is the Aurora MR. It's one of the starter ships. I believe you can get uh, several classifications. I'll put those on the screen. So you can have a look at them. We have the uh, Aurora ES, the Aurora CL, the Aurora LN, the Aurora MR. Basically a starter ship. For many people, this little starter ship is uh, very small. Let's take a look around it. We have the Aurora MR version here. Most of them will be exactly the same shape, but just with a bit of a different color scheme and different loadouts, including weapons, engines, and what they can carry and what they can. Now, the L, uh, the Aurora MR is like the uh, starter ship, I said, you know, it's the unknown soldier, as it's known. It's the unknown little uh, daily driver for those starting out in the game. So, we'll take a look at this one. You can get uh, different paints if you want the different paints, but this is the box standard version, just, you know, box standard, as it comes out of the box. The thing, so we got a few guns here. So that's the uh, cockpit, as it's known. We'll take a look. We'll take a look inside as well. We'll just give you a quick close-up view of what it looks like. We've got the RSI logos. We got. Looks like we got two entrances. The airlocks. Um, we'll take a look uh, around. There's some en engine manifolds or scoops. You know, it's a very uh, tiny. And I'll just give you a perspective. There's me in game, everyone. Uh, just give you a little view, a little view, close up view to see how, you know, this is your, our Star Citizen player, you know. So, length wise, we'll give you the specs and stuff. I'll run through those. I'll put a thing on the specs. And some landing gear. Just take a look at the landing gear. We'll close up and look at the landing gear. Let's have a look. Very interesting, very very um detail. All these ships in the game, everyone, are very very detailed. There we go. Leave it um nice paintwork. Yeah, it's got a bit of bit of battle damage, uh, stuff like that, and stuff around. Uh, I've got the red and white 
paint scheme on there. I think it's the box Let's take a look at uh, the back end. Let's stand ourselves up. And this is uh, where you can put cargo. So it does carry some cargo underneath, as you can see. Uh, we'll get back into our different camera mode. So here we go. This is where some cargo goes. You can stick it under there. You use your multi-tool if you're not too sure about your multi-tool. And we'll take it. Now we're going to uh, open her up. And we'll take a look inside. So let's open the door. Let's see how the mechanism works. Well, very interesting how that opens. Got some stairs that pop out of the uh, little hatch way here. Let's have a look. And uh, off we go. Right now, all the power's off. So, it, um, we'll switch over. Let's just get some. We'll just switch things on. It's a pilot seat. And we'll switch all the power on. And so we can take a bit, get a bit of light in here. Time get it. Let's have a look. So we've got some power on, we just turned the turn the interior lights on. So the bit of a cramped go. You've got your pilot seat there with your we'll take a look at the visibility. This is our chair, our captain's chair, as it says. Two exits, as I mentioned. So you can do EVA and thing. It does come with a bed. Shall we take a look? Let's have a look, lie down. Can we lie down, please? There we go. So we're, you know, pretty cramped. There's the, you know, um, got a bed. There's not much else. So um, when it comes to, uh, There's no really facilities for you, so you may have to bring stuff with you. Uh, have, a, have a look for storage. Looks like we've just got the bed in there. Maybe we've got uh, some storage in there. Not too sure, everyone. Not too sure on that one. Well, you can um, let me know in the comments below if there's any storage actually inside the ship. Let me know in the comments below, so that will do help. We can bring some specs up for this ship. Anyway, let's take a look at the uh, cop cockpit. Uh, as we get in our seat. So, uh, we'll let's have a look around. So, visibility, we are uh, classic RSI style with the um, struts. Not too bad. Can we, we can look left and right. So, if you think about it, it's a nice little starter ship to start out with. You know, it's the box standard model, so can it be upgraded with different components and different weapons? Yes, of course. This is, this is your basic layout. You've got your controls here, your layout, your... Something like that. But let's have a look. What happens if we um, start her up, shall we? Let's, let's call... Just waiting. Give you a view around. So there she is in full colour. That's what you look like when you're inside the uh, pilot seat. Got the uh, box up, got the RSI logos on there. She's a very nice little uh, all-rounder, all basically. But, um, just, you know, if you are going out in the verse in one of these, you know, just remember, she's small, she can carry some cargo. That's basically where you you got a couple of weapons that looks like at the front two guns. Uh, looks like a couple of looks like a couple of missiles at the at the top. Not too much, just box standard. I mean, but but we're more interested and in see how. Let's see how the landing gear goes up, shall we? Let's get that. So let's take a look at the landing gear. We just learned. Very interesting. 
Holy hell, hold on, hold. Hey, careful now, Clay. Get, get stationary, get her ready. And let's take her out, shall we, Jennings? Let's take her. Let's take her out and see what she feels like when we take her out. There we go, everyone. So, just uh, let's have a butcher's. Right, let's have a look like what she looks like. There's lights on, we've got the running lights. Oh, there's the engine there. Not too bad, move, move. Maneuvers, left and right, strafe. Very, very interesting. Many people, uh, you know, um, move on to bigger and better ships, but for you know, just a little starter ship, maybe, maybe not the best, but for for an RSI ship, for a little starter, there could be different ones out there. And but if you're just starting out and you you just want a little daily run around, um, it doesn't, uh, you know, as you saw inside, just has its bed, so you may need to bring stuff with you, like a uh, drink, some water. And carry stuff with you uh, unless you can put it actually in a cargo box underneath but we, we haven't checked that so you can find out information on that so we'll, check, we'll, we'll, we'll put on screen right now the other variations you can turn um, on the screen now now we'll run through some stats while we do some gameplay and after that we'll do a final look so for a little starter ship, it may be not the best best one in class. In class, everyone, it may it may, but it's a it's a good all rounder. It's a it's a nice little all rounder. Can you upgrade it? Yes, you can. Can you change? We'll park. We'll get some we'll land up. Proceed to landing bay. As I said, I'm not the best pilot anyway. Let me know what you think. What ships we should cover next? We'll just land this up. And we'll put on screen and we'll run through the specs. Whoa, careful now. Nope. Oh, told you I'm not, the, I'm, not, I'm not the best pilot in the world. Um, touch it down nice and down. Nice soft landing. And we'll get out. So, for a crate rating, to start out, can you, is it a nice little starter ship to start out with? Absolutely. Is it the best starter ship in the class? Mm, no, I, I'll give you that one. So, for a crate rating, out of 20. So I'm going to do a crate rating. These are my my ratings on these ships. So, you know, is it the best in class? What you get? So value for money, very good value for money for a little starter ship, and you're starting out the first. Um, you, you do have a bed, so you may be able to uh, you know, rest while you're out the out the first. Does it come with a bit of storage? You may have to carry stuff and get yourself a cargo box. So that's one of the downsides. Uh, very small interior. So, you, you know, if you need to rest up, you'll need to either find a port or, or landing bay. But, uh, yeah, so my cray rating is a, a 7. I'll give it a 7 out of 20. A 7. Value for money? Absolutely. Is it the best thing of the starter ships? There, there are others out there which can uh, out them, but... If you just want to like a little daily driver, you're just starting out the verse, and you think, hmm, is it, you know, is it, is, is this ship for me? Well, stay tuned, we'll, we'll go through the other starships of the verse, and, um, 
we'll call it there. Thank you for watching. I've been Craig Jennix, and uh, I'll see you on the next in-depth guide to the ships of the verse.